Going to do a box opening today on a D-Link DCS930L surveillance camera. This is a wireless network camera that we'll be able to monitor our home when we're away. And you can view this with either an Android, iPhone, iPad, laptop, desktop, pretty much any kind of connectivity. You should be able to view it. has a built-in motion detector where you can record as well as along with a microphone and it's supposed to be a do-it-yourself easy to install setup so let's open it up and see how easy this will be and here's what's in the D-Link box for the model DCS930L we have our little camera, still haven't taken it out of the plastic yet. It's got an Ethernet connection in the back to do the initial configuration and a power connection. And we got a power plug connection for it, an Ethernet cable. Looks like some screws for mounting this if you wanted to, and a start here CD that I'll load up on the laptop and the easy to follow instructions which begins with connecting this to the Ethernet cable and to my wireless modem and then install the CD and configure it from there. So let's pick up on the installation. So I've made this connection to the back of my wireless modem here and now I'm going to connect the power cord. And it says you're supposed to see the green light come on. There it goes. It went from red to green after I make that power connection. So now let's get the CD into the laptop here. So I've got the CD installed. We're going to do the run auto execute on this. So we're going to start with the installation here. And looks like it's checking for some updates here first with the DCS 930L setup wizard. And looks like I have to accept all these terms. Check with my lawyer here, so we'll go ahead and Accept those. And we've already got that connected. Ethernet cable is in. And I've connected it to my router already. So we're going to go next on this as well. We've already got the power connector in. We're going to go next on this. And we'll go double check to make sure the light is still green. And the light is still green here. So we verified the light is indeed green, so we're going to go next on this. It is solid green, yes. So this next step is just selecting your cloud camera which shows IP and MAC address so I'm going to select that and go to the next step here. You also can confirm that on the on your box as well. This is an example. And you also have to create yourself an admin account when you do this. And it's saving my password. And I'm going to choose a by selecting a wireless network, so it's scanning to find that now. Okay, so I put in my wireless network and my wireless network password. Now it's asking me to unplug the Ethernet cable from the camera. So I've unplugged the Ethernet cable and the camera came back, it went red then came back green, which is probably a good sign. It says it's restarting network. Checking internet connection. It 
and now it's asking me to enable my D-Link services. And it looks like I need to sign up to get a D-Link. So let me do that. And this is what you need to provide your email, first name, last name, and a password and confirm. And then check I have agreed and accept the terms and go to next. It's creating my D-Link account. So the setup is now complete. I've created a My D-Link account. I'm going to log in using Google Chrome here to see if I can see the camera view. And here's a view of that camera on my laptop with the My D-Link account. Very easy setup for this camera. And here's the same view using the My D-Link app on my iPhone.